This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Razel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and uh, today, yeah, and I think I'm being a bad dad right now because I got this. Um, basically, I know that I might be getting a G1 Optimus Prime for Christmas with a trailer and everything. Um, I think it's a re, you know, a reissue, but I'm getting it from AliExpress, so it might be a KO. I don't know, but I I really wanted this set, and I got this from Tornado.ca uh, for a fairly decent price with low shipping, which was interesting. Uh, but this is my son's gift, and as a rule, I don't review his gifts, and this is a Christmas gift, so I'm like four months early. But I just want to review it. I want to open it. So I'm going to open it and try not to, you know, um, make sure that I can repack it afterwards. He's not going to know that I reviewed it. He doesn't watch my YouTube anyway. So, yeah. So uh, the core class, the Legacy Evolution core class, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. And uh, my son already has the core Optimus Prime. So I just might give him the accessory and I'll keep this one. I don't know yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get uh, to that water or whatever that proverb is. But yeah, um, I don't have that B, but it's just a fun place and, and I really wanted it for my kid. And my wife was like, well, he's gonna break it and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, 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 no he's gonna be fine. So anyway, that's just me being a dad who's gonna open his son's gift and review it. Uh, just for uh, the purpose of having some content on my YouTube channel. I'm terrible. But, you know, it's, it's still, he's gonna be excited when he opens it. So thanks for coming over. Before you do check the review, I wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store, where at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Now I have to say that this looks fantastic. I'm super excited for my son to open this. I actually, actually, I might just keep it for myself. No, it's really, really, really fun to look at. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna have tons of fun with the playability of this thing. It's, it's very original. Of course, we could have gotten a more tune accurate V, but he's not gonna care about that. Heck, we didn't care that we, we back then, that we had cartoon accurate figures. So. I don't think it's gonna be a problem for him. And the only Bumblebee he has is a flying Cyberverse version, so this is gonna be great for him. And he already has the original Kingdom Optimus Prime, so maybe this one I'll... Uh... Ah, it's his. Screw it. He's gonna have two Optimus Prime. He wouldn't be the first. So, all right, let's look at the box. Uh, well, yeah, my setup is changed now, so I have a different angle. But the box looks really good. Nice, you know. You know what you're getting. You have all the accessories listed. Uh, I don't see any cameo. You know, sometimes there's new figures that you see and you're like, oh, what's this? What's this one? Uh, but this is all, you know, standard uh, packaging for evolution that we've seen. So. But it looks really good. And you have uh, a little roller. I'll go. I'll use roller. He's small enough to get in there without being seen. It's good. Big hole on the top. Uh, I like it. The wheels are a little waffly on top, well, all around. So that's Hasbro at its finest. And it, well, it could roll, but this is a very soft surface, so it's kind of hard to do that. And be careful. But uh, you're able to pin the trailer on him like this and it works perfectly that's that's really cool and so and that's the gray version uh, I my memory of the cartoon says it's blue but I think it's gray in the cartoon and the toy was blue so doesn't matter I have two blue and my son's gonna have a gray one so looking good 
Gee, I wonder if this is the same one they had in the Centurion drone pack. Did they have a roller in the Centurion drone? I'll look it up. You have the little energy axe, looks really good. Uh, we have the same one with the Nemesis Prime uh, core class, but it was more of a clear plastic purple. Uh, this is painted yellow. I like it. You have the adapter to put on Prime, like this, so that he's able to carry the uh, the trailer. Like this. It looks really good. I like it. You have the uh, Ion Blaster for Prime. Uh, purple, blue, blue plastic, painted. You have the nice gunmetal on it. Looks really good. And uh, just one big waffle at the bottom. And then you have the Bumblebee gun. Looks really good. My camera won't focus. There you go. And then you have this little, I don't know, soldering gun here. So I don't know where that's supposed to go. It doesn't show in the, uh, uh, not the instruction, but the uh, box art. So I'll check in the instruction. And then you have the axe. Looks pretty good. Then you have the trailer, which this is inside, so I'm keeping it because I'm going to put it back. And what I love about the trailer is that you open it, and this thing here looks more accurate than the drone we had with the Earthrise release. Oh, oh. Damn it, Hound! Before it nails us! So, it moves up and down like this, and there's a little clip. And then you have a... Uh, another joint here and then you can move this like that so you can get it to go up quite a bit and I love the fact that this looks more G1 or G1 toy accurate than the Earthrise one did because we had that little antenna thing in G1 and yet we had that arm and those two little guns but the Earthrise mold had uh, two of those arms but in front no missiles no guns so this this looks really good. Um, that's that's something fun, and it clips in. So when you're moving it around, doesn't uh, well he doesn't. So there I go, and it's nice and tight. I like that. And then you have of course the ramp, so that roller can go in. And also this one here is supposed to fit Bumblebee, but you're you can't fit both Bumblebee and roller at the same time but if you close it there you go you can have a bumblebee inside and then you just lift it a little bit and boom bumblebee's out so no this is really really cool i like that let's move this out of the way uh the instructions yeah maybe they'll tell me where uh the gun but it's a i'm not gonna open it for the camera but it's a huge poster like really big so yeah all right, so whoever took the uh, pictures for the box art uh, used this gun for Bumblebee, but uh, no, the instruction clearly say that this is the Bumblebee gun, and this goes with the uh, accessories. Um, and it's cool, because this is a good storage. Uh, you can take the Ion Blaster and put it here. And then you have another storage for... Uh, hold on sorry my bad you can take the gun and store it like this and then they tell you to take this one here put it here or not there you go and then you can take the axe and according to the instructions you're supposed to Put it like this but I'm not seeing how this is supposed to fit maybe I'm doing it completely wrong uh, yeah I think it's on the side like this ah there we go all right so this is oh and then you have well the bumblebee gun doesn't go in there and then when you open all of this like that and you have your repair bay so that's pretty cool oh and also in uh if you want to you can take those two pegs here 
and put it uh, like that here so that you have a storage for the support and then if you take Optimus Prime and transform him you can have him in the repair bay so that's that's pretty cool actually and then you have the uh, the you know all the, uh, the the display but you also you know of course can equip uh, all of this on Optimus Prime himself and he looks really good honestly I like the this version it's uh, painted better I like the, the you know the white here the grill the headlight looks really good but I mean it's not a new figure we've seen it but it does have a little stack the Autobot logo nice head sculpt um, yeah I think this one is a better version or a better paint than the original and the rims are really good and sorry I should have went over all of this in uh, alt mode but I completely forgot so but we've seen this a, you know a couple times now and the nemesis version and everything so but it looks really good and then with the accessory if you want to you can of course put the axe in here I think that looks goofy though because that you can still see the fist behind it but if you pose it properly it looks good uh, and then you have the gun here like this and if you want to you can take that little gun and you can put it in the hand like that of the repair drone so that he can uh, defend itself I guess or uh, use it as a soldering gun so that looks really good and then Bumblebee, uh, I don't like this uh, alt mode, uh, but I do like the color of the window, uh, the plastic, goofy wheels. Uh, this looks kind of okay, this looks weird, uh, but it's not, it's not a Camaro nor a Beetle. It doesn't get any better. Honestly, this is not a good Bumblebee. Um, it reminds me a bit of the Generations line mold, um, but my, I know my kid's gonna like it, so, you know, there's good articulation on this one, uh, still, you know, you have the uh, ball joint at the shoulder, you have the band at the, uh, the elbow, the hands doesn't move, there is no waist rotation, you have a kick forward, kick back, uh, super knee bend because of the transformation uh, but you don't have an ankle tilt or rocker and the head is on a tiny ball joint but it's not high enough so you can't rotate it all the way I think he's still going to enjoy that uh, but I don't think I could have much fun with this one um, and in Optimus you know we've seen that it's uh, the, I actually like this mode you have a rotation at the head you have your full rotation at the um, shoulder, uh, the elbow, because it's all ball joints. The hand don't rotate. Uh, you have a waist, well, no, you have like a, this rotation here for the transformation, but that doesn't count. You have a kick forward, and that thing won't pin. Like, uh, man, it's it doesn't stay. So, well, maybe now it will. Uh, it's full of waffle in the back. You have a kick forward. You have a kick back. You have a nice knee bend, but you don't have any articulation at the toes. Or no, or uh, my uh, I didn't realize that uh, my camera stopped uh, recording. I don't know why, and I already repacked all of this, so I don't have the end of the review. I think I'm pretty much done though. Uh, articulation and stuff I really like this set it's fantastic honestly my kid is going to love it we're gonna it's confirmed now we're gonna both open uh, Optimus Prime with trailers uh, he's gonna get an extra bumblebee I'm not but I'm getting a G1 version uh, probably a KO and I'm actually very excited for that uh, and the fact that we're gonna both open Optimus Prime with trailers and accessories and stuff uh, that's gonna he's gonna have fun and I'm gonna be super excited so so yeah I just this is the end of the review I'm sorry this is a picture that I took it for the thumbnails and then I ended up not using it but uh, because it's all repacked I can't uh, you know uh, finish the uh, 
the review like I usually do. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.